everybody welcome back uh, I've got a journal to share with you guys today this is a um, design team project I've just completed for Artie Mays the kit is butterfly madness I'll put a link below to this kit um, yeah I spotted this and I love it I love this kit it is gorgeous it's another big kit Artie Mays kits are really generous. Um, you get a lot of pages, a lot of elements, and I love the colors. They are fantastic. So this is um, a hardcover, um, three signature, and the front I've just added one of the um, Tim Holtz uh, book plates, and then this is some really old um, vintage lace I've had. I've been hoarding this for so long because it was one of my first uh, really, you know, nice lace purchases. Um, so I've I've really held on to that piece, and I've still got a bit more. Uh, but I am super selective on what I use it with. I thought it really looked nice on this. I wasn't sure if I needed lace or not, but I do think it looks nicer with it. Um, just a seam binding closure on this one, and then this is the back. This is one of the. Um, background papers and I just printed it over to um, cardstock and you'll see oh the colors are just uh, yummy 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 <laughs> so we'll go inside and I'll show you how I've done it I'm so delighted to see all of the um, takes on the fa fabric postcards that I posted yesterday. It's, it's really cool. I love to see when somebody takes an idea and makes it their own. So that's been really, really nice. Thank you guys for, um, for showing the photos of, of the ones that you've created because we've all got our own style and I've already seen things that hadn't occurred to me. Um, so that's just, I love it when that happens because it starts putting your mind in a different way of seeing things and it inspires you to try something else, um, you know, because we all do kind of get into our own um, style and groove and it's nice to break out of that. So um, I really enjoy that. Okay, so the front, I've done a big tag and then... This is what I did on the front. Let me just make sure you guys are in frame. I just created another little pocket there. And this is one of the journal cards from the kit. I love those. <clears throat> and then here I just made one of the little matchbook uh, notebooks with some extra uh, leftover scraps I had. That's been tucked in there. Look at these papers. Aren't they beautiful? Really, really nice colors in this. And some lined paper. I've got some tea dyed um, grid paper. Edith Holden page. Here is one of the large envelopes. I created a little altered paper clip because you get the little banners in it. And then this is one of the big envelopes that you get. And I've just done some stamping on muslin with some more lace behind it. This one I've glued up so you can put something in there. And then on this side, this is just from my stash, so. And one of the little journal cards, I love those. I like the fact that uh, you get the little lined uh, placed for writing in. A vintage book page. <clears throat> you get tabs in the kit, so that's really nice. And here I've done a pocket with another tuck, tuck spot. So you've got that tag. This is another tag, and that's from my stash. And then here, <coughs> excuse me, you get a cir these circles. So I've cut that out, and then I put an eyelid in it, and then did a half circle so that it's a little pocket, and I've tucked one of the other circles that I've cut down. Um, and I've just tucked that in there, so you could add that anywhere in the journal. Some little flips. This is a um, tea-dyed index card. 
This is another um, nature book page. Love those images. Oh, look at that page. Isn't that gorgeous? I love all the butterflies in this. Uh, here I've just, this is some um, vintage music sheet. I've just put some uh, scrapbook paper along there. Oh, and this is um, Artie Mae's Eco Dyed Papers. Um, I will put the link below for that because I've actually used uh, three kits in here. This paper is beautiful. Honestly, um, I love it. Really am crazy about that, so I'm going to be using that a lot more in my upcoming uh, nature journals. Beautiful. <clears throat> here I, um, I just added another sheet um, down to the one that was sewn into the signature. Then I created a pocket. This is her floral cards and tags kit. So I've made a pocket out of that, and then I just added this little quote. Did some stamping there. A little journal card from my stash. And this is just from my stash because I thought it coordinated really nicely. Another of the tabs that you get with the kit. Look at that page. Yeah, she definitely named this right uh, because it's so many butterflies, which we all love, I think. I think next to bees, that's probably the next thing. <laughs> I still, oh, I love those bees, and it's so nice to see so many um, bee-themed journals coming out, but um, the the butterflies, uh, that's my next thing, is oh, crazy about them. Here's the back of that eco-dyed paper. I'll give you guys a close-up. It is beautiful. She did a really nice job with that. I don't think I've got the patience to make it myself. I wish I did, because um, it, I love the feel of that in that journal that I bought but I know I wouldn't have the patience to go through that process I'm going to try to do some avocado dyeing but I think that's about the extent of my venturing out with the dyeing um, but it's really fun to see what everybody else is doing here I've got a belly band with some more old trim stitched to it Another of the tabs from the kit. <clears throat> and then that, we're going into the second signature. It's all tea dyed papers. Tab. Here's another pocket. I've done some stitching. Um, there will be a, a tag in this. I don't know why. I must have missed that one out, but there will be a tag in that before that goes out. Oh, I love that color. Look at how that's come out. Really love it when, when my papers get a really nice dark. Um, here you get these um, medium-sized tags, and I've just glued the center <coughs> excuse me, down, and so this just flips out so you get a nice little secret place to write. Look at those papers. I always try to let you guys see them close up because you can't often tell when you're scouring through um, the kits. Um, so I try to, to let you see really up close. Um, that's another one of the tags. So beautiful. Here I've done a, a double tuck. This is one of my... Um, I've got the doily punch. And uh, I've punched that out of the Tim Holtz paper. And then this is one of the circles that... Um, is in Artie Mae's kit, so I've just halved it, and then so now you've got two tuck spots there. And oh, look at that! That's the eco dyed paper. You guys are going to love it. You get a lot of pages in that as well, so check that out. It is beautiful. Um, here I've done another little altered paper clip with some machine stitching. And then on this side, um, this comes in the kit, and I love this. It's a little envelope that you can have floating within your journal, and then this opens up. So you've got writing on the back with some lines, and then obviously you can do some inside. You could have some little photos in there, and then just journal about it. 
I think that's really, really sweet. And then I just added a, one of the little quotes from my stash. There's another one of the tabs. You get a lot of tabs in this, and this one's got journal on it. I'll give you a close-up there. Look at that page. So pretty. Very dreamy, this kit is, I think. Oh, I love that. She's got like the old postage stamp in the background, then the rose and the script, and then the butterfly over it. Just, oh, you do wonder about these, um, <clears throat> these artists that create these digital kits. I'd love to watch the process because I'm fascinated with it. I, I don't, you guys know I'm not very gr good with the um, computer, so I'm just fascinated on how they come up with it. It's, it's just amazing to me. <laughs> but I guess that's because I'm old school. Here I've taken a book page and I've just left it so that you could see both sides because they are beautiful. Um, let me turn that around beautiful images and I wanted to leave those intact so you could see them but it still gives you that little secret place to write in the journal. A ledger sheet. And we're into the third signature. Here just another piece of uh, music sheet that flips out. This is another of the tags from the kit. I love that. And then I did a bit more stitching around that pocket. You get quite a few of these pockets in the kit, so that's really nice. Love that book page. It's just, uh, the illustrations are so nice in that book. Here I've just, uh, this is from the floral journal cards kit. I just attach that so that you could kind of flip it over. Another book sheet or book page. Look at um, that's another one of the journal pages. Beautiful. Mm. And here I've done another tuck spot um, out of the tickets that come in the kit. So you get all of those. <coughs> which is really nice. Oh there's another page from the Eco Dyed. Look at that. You can really see the impression of that maple leaf there. Maple leaves. Oh, I love a maple tree. Especially the Japanese maples. I love those. I always wanted one in my yard, but they're so slow growing. Um, and then when I lived in the south, a Japanese maple, maple doesn't like the heat. So I tried planting them, but it's very difficult in South Georgia to grow those. I don't know. I'm off on a tangent. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, here I've got a big pocket in this page. Then I did a pocket here, and that's one of the um, tags from the floral tag kit. Aren't they beautiful? And then there's another tuck spot here. And then I thought this would be nice. You could do some journaling on that as well. Love that page. I'm really happy how that's come out. I did some zigzag stitch around that. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Andrea's, she's got some pretty, pretty kits in there. Here I've got another little paper clip. Um, I don't know if I said, but you do get the little banner. The little banners and then I run it through the machine and stitch it and then this little envelope isn't that pretty it's got a, a little journal card as well so pretty let's see I did it this way and then just to put a bit of um, <clears throat> some leftover scrapbook paper I had. I thought that coordinated nicely. There's some more of that. i got to show you the Eco Dyed. I love that. And it just, I don't know, just has a nice, you got to touch it 
when you come to these pages, you're like, oh, I've got to feel that. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I just, I just feel the need to touch it. Um, here I've done a pocket in the back with a tag, and then I made this as a little tri-fold flip out so that you could journal on all of these and then tuck it back away. And then you've got the, the big tag in the back there. It's a little snug, but it fits. Oh, look at that page. Mm, yeah, it's got like a watercolor look to it. Very, very pretty. <clears throat> okay, here's another little tuck spot. That's one of the journal um, cards. So you've got a place you can add something there. Another book page. And then here you've got a double pocket. And then these are some more of the large tick tickets that you get. So I've left those together and tucked them in there. <coughs> Excuse me, this is this is the back of the journal. And what I've done here, I had this sheet left over, so I've just punched it out so that you got an extra bit of writing. But my thinking was, once you've used this up, <clears throat> I've created this journal in such a way that you can go buy one of the thin notebooks, pads, from oh, Walmart or Dollar Tree, and just take that back and stick it in there. That way you've got a nice um, notepad. Uh, I like to have those in my journals because uh, it's nice sometimes, you know, you don't. Sometimes you just want to jot down little lists and things while you're thinking, but you don't want to mess up one of these pages. So that's that's the reason I've, I've done that. I like to put those in. I don't do it in all of the journals, but every now and then I will. And then um, i got my little stamp. So pleased to have that. So that's um that's been put into the journal so that it's it's got my name in there where it was made by. Okay guys, that's it. That is the um my latest journal and I have got many more <laughs> planned but um I don't know when I'll have them done but you know just if you would please like this video, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell for future notifications from me. I really appreciate that. It helps me out a lot, and um, that way you'll know whenever I'm getting, you know, I've added a video. So, thank you guys so much. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. I'm sorry. I get I get distracted, but thank you guys so much for. Um, for joining my channel. I appreciate it and I hope you're going to find inspiration here and um, thank you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye!